Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here at New Horizon Church for this week's staff devotional. I want to start with a thought-provoking statement. Christianity is all about going with the flow. Christianity is not about going against the flow. And I know that may be controversial, but I just want to share a few moments and unpack this in your life. You know, growing up in church, you can hear some wonderful, amazing, inspirational things, but also you can hear some kind of a little bit rubbish uh, and unbiblical things as well that can easily, if we're not careful, deceive us and we live with the wrong mindset and the wrong stereotype in our lives. When I was a young Christian growing up in church, many people used to say, Christianity, now you're a Christian, now you're a young Christian, it's, it's about going against the flow. And you get this picture in your head of this weak, defenceless, battered and bruised, lonely little salmon with all the world against it, with everything against it, trying to push it back. And it can really make you feel and live with a victim mindset and a kind of a depressed state. I want to declare to you that Christianity is not about going against the flow, but when you read the Bible correctly, Christianity is about going with the flow. Because in Zechariah chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, Zechariah the prophet speaks life into this man called Zerubbabel, and he says this, he says, the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. And then he says, what are you, almighty mountain, before Zerubbabel? You will become level ground. And we get this amazing picture that Zerubbabel no longer thinks that he's a going against the flow. He no longer thinks that he's some pale, anemic weak, defenceless, little lonely salmon, he starts to realise that there's the dynamic flow of the power of God that he can live in and, 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 and get in that flow. And so Zerubbabel had to understand that the dynamic flow of the spirit was accessible for him. But also he had, Zerubbabel had to learn how to live in the dynamic flow of the Spirit of God, that it's not about him going against the flow anymore. He can live in the empowering flow of the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit, which would result in him seeing mountains being leveled in his life and in his nation. That's how important that we need to get rid of this lonely, defenceless, weak, kind of anemic, all the strengths gone little picture of the salmon. Today I declare war on the salmon. Today I want to kill every salmon mindset and stereotype that Christians have in our lives because we're never going to achieve God's mission if we have this, my, this victim mindset, this kind of despised little salmon finding everything tough, everything's against it. No. And if you don't believe me, Christianity is about going with the flow. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 31, this is what Paul says. What shall we say then in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? What's that about? That's about going with the flow, the dynamic flow of the Spirit's power in our, in our lives. And we need to remind ourselves that it's the church that are going with the flow. The world, they're the ones the people who don't believe in God, they're the ones going against the flow. Because in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it says these powerful words, the wages of sin are death. In other words, the result of living in rebellion to God, in a result of not being obedient to God's word, as a result of living how you want and not doing it God's way, the result of living that way and the fruitfulness of living that way is death is problems, is difficulties, is, is things that will, will come and harm us. And the wages of sin are death. And so I want to shift the mindset in your, in your heart and in your spirit. If you are a Christian, you are the one that are going with the flow. You've got to learn to live in the dynamic flow of the Holy Spirit in your life. Understand it's ac accessible for you. Zerubbabel learned to live in it. And he saw mountains in his nation, in his world, leveled. And I'm believing 
We don't want the devil to rob the church with the correct mindset and the spiritual understanding that we are a child of God. We're not some pathetic salmon. We are children of God where we can live in the dynamic flow of the Spirit's power that we will see mountains leveled in our nation, generation, family and church. And I'm believing that. Who's excited? I get excited when I talk. If you are a Christian today, I want to encourage you. God has got a better flow for your life. Maybe through the wrong things you've said and done. You, you know, you don't need me to tell you life is tough. You're going against the flow. The, the wages of sin is death. You, you know that you, you, you're encountering some things in your life that you know are difficult because of the result of how you lived. I've got some great news for you. God has got a different flow for you. If you come to him with a sincere heart and you say, God, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've said and done. Turn to him right now and say, God, I want to live in a different flow. Everything I just feel is, is going against me. I want to live in your flow. And uh, just pray to him right now and come and join us here at New Horizon Church one Sunday. It'd be great to see you. And to everyone out there, let's learn and to be like Zerubbabel. Let's all learn to live in the dynamic power and the dynamic flow of the Spirit's power in our lives that we will see every mountain we're facing will be leveled because it's not by might, not by power, but it's by God's spirit, says the Lord. So Christianity is not about going against the flow. It, we are not some pale salmon, defenceless, you know, we need to, I want to kill that salmon or that viewpoint. Not that I've got any uh, problems with salmon, by the way. Even if our grannies have told us this uh, parable, you know, grannies are wonderful, but also grannies can be wrong. And let's live with the right godly mindset and stereotype over our lives, over the people of God and over the church. So we can all live in the flow. We can all go with the flow and we can exist and live in the dynamic flow of the Spirit's power today and forever. Amen. Hope you're encouraged. God bless you. See you soon.